Hello farmers and welcome back to No Man's Land. As you can see, the oat harvest has begun. The trailer, the new chrome trailer, is about maybe two-thirds full. We're ready to bring some oats on down to the big red barn to start making some oatmeal. And, well, then I think I'm going to set off a worker on the wheat field. I'll come back and finish this field later on myself. Uh, I started this field just because. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been actually talking to my support for YouTube and yeah last video of no man's land i'm actually recording this on the day it went uh on monday so the day went live uh yeah for those who watch it in 4k and you were trying to watch it 4k it didn't show well that's why i called you my youtube uh, support team <laughs> trying to get involved in that so lately my 4k videos are taking forever to render on youtube and while i was beginning harvesting this field i was talking to my support team in a text box and I think if I would talk to the wall in front of me, I would have got better answers, honestly. Uh, the person I was talking to didn't have a clue. Uh, so all they can say is, yes, my videos are uploaded in 4K, and if you happen to turn on a video and it's not in 4K, it's just because YouTube has not rendered it just as of yet. So if you want to watch in 4K only, then you're going to have to wait. That's all I can say. I'm uploading the videos a day in advance. Uh, like Monday's episode got uploaded Saturday night and was uh, finished uploading by the time I got Sunday morning. So a good 36 hours for YouTube to process, process that video into 4K and it still wasn't. Uh, other videos I upload, it sometimes only takes them a couple hours. But lately, like Sunday's episode of Snow... Uh, sorry, Saturday's episode of Snow Runner, um, that was like three hours after the video went live before it went to 4K. Eight, that my ATS video on Sunday about an hour before the video went live and finally was ready in 4K and yeah the help center of my help support team <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I showed them I showed them a picture of the video de description where I can edit the video for YouTube and it showed I showed them right there it, it says it was ready in standard definition high definition 2K and 4K ready and he kept trying to ask he wanted me to do a speed test on my internet I'm like Okay, I don't know where we're going with that. So I gave him, you know, it was 180 down. It was like 30 up at that time. And he goes, okay, your speeds are good. Can you clean your cookies? I'm like, dude, uh, so I, it doesn't give me the option to watch the video in 4K, nor are my viewers allowed to be able to watch in 4K. Then he goes away, and next thing I can see, he's typing something. Then he gives me to a link to show me how to clean my cookies on my browser, because that may help. I'm like, uh, this guy's not getting it. I'm like you can see where the video is ready in 4k and he goes yep i said do me a favor why don't you click on the video and see if you can watch in 4k seconds later he comes back typing and says no it only allows me to watch it in 1080p did you upload it in 4k and i literally just sat there at the chat box in awe you know when you're just speechless that that's the way i was and I was getting frustrated. I'm like, you can see in the video description it was uploaded in 4K. It says it's ready in 4K. It won't play back in 4K. Uh, yeah. Then, then, then he gave me another link. To sh and that link showed me how to render videos in 4K. He said that may help. And I, and I just, I just closed up the chat box, and now I'm here talking to you guys. Um, so. Yeah, so for those of you who don't watch it in 4K, uh, that, you know, doesn't really affect you because it's usually ready and high definition, but for those of you who only want to watch it in 4K, yeah, all my videos are upload, uploaded in 4K. If they're just not ready at that time, uh, come back and watch it later, I guess. I apologize for that. And then uh, I did a little research. I typed in I typed in the help center, you know, how long should it take for a 4K video to upload? And in the past month, a lot of a lot of creators are complaining about how long it's taking their 4K videos. And I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Some people are saying it's taken five to seven days after they upload a 10 minute video for the videos to be rendered into 4K. Uh, I was like, okay, I haven't had to wait that long. But anyways, that's how uh, that's how my day has been after I got home from work on a Monday, which is uh, always fun. Uh, trying to get that problem solved for you guys like watching 4k and uh you know trying to give you better quality videos uh this youtube is not really helping me out actually i need to go over and unload this and then i think i'll set a worker off on the wheat field all right so let's get to farming 
Uh, but I know there was a few questions on the 4K. Uh, I tried to solve, and I'm trying to solve it. Uh, just bring up to date. You know, if the video, like I said, is not in 4K when you go to watch it, the day it's been released. Uh, if you want to watch in 4K only, then just wait a little while, and hopefully by then it'll be ready. That's all I can tell you. Uh, but yeah, so right now we are harvesting the oat field, as you can see, but I want to bring these oats over to the big red barn. Start making some oatmeal. I think we're going to uh, set Frank off on the wheat field. And he can go ahead and harvest that. And I'll come back and uh, help him with the trailer and unload the combine and whatever. I'll come back and do this. I could set this, set this off on course play to finish off this field. But since I've already massacred half the field, uh, course play may not line up properly. So I'll just come back and do that another time sometime soon but we'll get some get some oatmeal started anyways and then um, I need to take the T6 over and we're gonna sell some of the products coming out of the big red barn I got to move the pig food somewhere I'm not sure where yet but we'll move it somewhere and the rest of the stuff we're just gonna sell as is uh, whenever it's ready uh, we got premium potatoes we got uh, salads I'm making something else aren't I that might be all I might be making right now. I can't remember. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a worker here. And like I said, it's going to be Frank, hopefully. Uh, create a job. Yes, it's going to be this field here. Bingo, bango. Uh, let's make sure there's no offsets when I, when I set this up. Uh, does it show me an offset here? No. Um, does it show me an offset in this setting here? Circle field margin... Uh, headland overlap. I don't need 5%. We'll just go uh, 7%. We'll go with uh, 4%. Uh, yeah, I think we're all, all set there. Create field course. Maybe I can't check it until... Until uh, I hop into here. Uh, tool offset, 0. Alright, so we're all set there. And let's see. Nearest waypoint. No, I want you to start at the first waypoint. All right, and if I just hit Control H, you should go ahead. Oh, you're gonna fold up in everything, are you? Uh, does course play do crop destruction? Uh, okay, so course play doesn't do crop destruction. Now, if I went to the drove to the starting point, I would have. You're not gonna hit that tree, are you? I did a five percent. Uh. I'm having one of those Mondays, can you tell? Um, why, why? Okay, I guess it all depends on where course play is actually seeing the field. So let me get the first headland done. I mean, that tree is not any, well, it's close to the field, but come on, it's not that close. All right, now there's no other trees in the way. So if I go ahead and just hit control H. No, not the first waypoint. Last waypoint, nearest waypoint. Nope, no. Get going again, please. Can I get some work done here on the farm? On my own? Why? Course play, really? Uh, I am interested to see something. Let me go ahead. Where is that setting? Uh, let me see here. Nope, up here. All waypoints. So it looks like it might be just the heading. Headland that, the first headland. Seems like the rest of the settings might be okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave that like that. Where Where's my fence? Let's go... <laughs> let's go do something productive. Instead of me arguing with this thing over and over again. Uh, can I not close the covers on that? N. Close covers. Can I not close the covers when there's crop in there? I should be able to. Alright, so I guess we're going to drive with the covers open. That's interesting. I can't close the covers? It says that I can. Is, any, is anything going to work right this episode? 
I guess not. So we'll just leave the covers open, I suppose. All right, let's go drop this off into the Big Red Barn, and uh, they can process the oatmeal to do whatever they want. I don't know how much the Big Red Barn can actually hold for grain and such, but we'll find out here soon enough. Then I'll have to bring the trailer on back, and I'll park the trailer... I guess I'll just park the fence and the trailer over by the chicken field. So whenever Frank is ready to unload, I'll just have to drive the fence on over. Uh, yeah, then we'll grab the T6, come on over, sell that stuff, not the pig food. Then I'll have to bring the McCormick over to grab the baler. Just one step after another. So a couple questions about uh, last episode. As uh, someone, I think they were trying to give me the ratios for TMR. Uh, I, yeah, I realized the main reason why I was putting tw all 12,000 liters in the mixer is that I just wanted to empty that silo bunker. That was it. Uh, I realized that was more silage than I wanted to, if that's what you were trying to say. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to empty out the silo bunker so I can empty it up, you know, just get rid of it all. Uh, did I go past the trigger for oatmeal here? Is this the unloading zone for oatmeal? Or, or sorry for oats all right interactive markers where are they yeah this episode is going fantastic uh where's my settings here settings 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 oh my not ah because i don't have it yeah somebody did mention that before i never noticed that before in farming simulator it's kind of funny how you play a game for a long time since i wasn't on the trailer it wasn't giving me the option ah there we go uh <laughs> You know, I'll have to close the back door. Uh, what's the close the back door? Why? Yeah, so if you're not high lit on the trailer, it's not going to show you the option that you can unload. I never, ever noticed that before. Or I have and just, you know, forgot about it. Either way. Uh, I feel like I should just, you know, start this whole episode over. That's, that's the way I feel right now. Probably should. All right, anyways, we got the oatmeal in there. So it's kind of it's kind of weird that the oatmeal recipe doesn't require like a little bit of oats and maybe like a little bit of water or something. But I guess when you buy oatmeal, it is kind of dry anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and start the process of making some oatmeal. Uh, wait, there's oats right here. Uh, okay, so like looks like about 50,000 liters is all it's going to be able to take. We got way more than 50,000 liters. So I may have to store the rest of it. Uh, not a problem, not a problem. I think we can hold 200,000 liters in our silo combined of wheat and everything else. So we can kind of do that for sure. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the fence back with the trailer. Hopefully the rest of the episode goes a little bit better. <laughs> I hope so for my sake and yours. Uh, yeah, hopefully I probably should unload Frank. He's probably pretty close to being ready to be unloaded. And then, like I said, I think next step, we'll bring the T6 over, clear out the spawn area of the big red barn, sell some of that stuff, bring some cash in. And then we'll grab the McCormick and start maybe making some straw bales, which I think we're going to sell all the straw bales. I think we got plenty. We haven't gone through that many yet uh, for the, the cows at all. But yeah, let me go ahead. I'm going to unload the combine and that way... Uh, you can make another headland around for sure. And uh, yeah, let's go sell some more product and bring in some more cash. Got back with the fence in the trailer just in time because Frank was getting ready to quit. Not quit, but uh, pause for a second because the combine was full. So I got the T6 with our pallets. Uh, pallet forks on here. Trying to do this. Uh, ooh, we're way too high. I've always got told that it's better to do this uh, first person. Not sure about that, but I guess it's something they get used to. And uh, there's that. Um, <laughs> okay, so maybe not. Uh, let's see, I flipped. Uh, I think maybe part of the problem there may have been it seemed like the second I lifted this up, that a pallet of salad spawn at the same time. I don't know if that's what happened there, but uh, let's go ahead and we'll just turn on super strength. And for now, we're just going to put these over here. I don't think anything's going to happen to them, but yeah, we're all set there. Uh, let's get out of first person there. 
All right, so everything that we're making here can only be sold at the No Man Land shop, which is part of the mod itself. Uh, the production, I think the production uh, package I have, I'm using here is in the description below. Uh, what am I set for? I'm not on the trailer. That'd be the reason why. I'm having a hard time with that today. Every day. Having a hard time with everything today, it seems like. Um, are we, are we loaded with everything? Anything else wanting to spawn? Uh, oh yeah, premium potatoes. There we go. Uh, where is the trigger? Oh, no, I just saw the trigger. Where was it? Right here. Uh, anything ready to spawn? Uh, some more pig food in a little while, but you know, we're good for now. Load that up. Uh, what is the price of stuff going for? So we got premium potatoes and salad. So I see maple syrup, tomato sauce. Mixed salad is going for twelve oh six at the No Man Land shop, which is uh, pretty decent. And premium potatoes are going for five thirty two. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to the No Man Land shop, and I think it's going to be up and around this way. Going to try to stick to the main roads. Well, I'm just going to try to stick to the roads that we have now. I'm going to try to anyways. Uh, so we should get a decent amount of cash from here. The mixed salads actually are going for a really decent price. And we got just over 4,000 liters. And, of course, the premium potatoes, um, not a bad price. I mean, our greenhouse is making tons of potatoes. Tons and tons of potatoes. That does remind me, though, I got some strawberries to pick up there as well and bring that on down to Bread Pit because hopefully later on this fall we can start making some cakes. And that was the main goal on the series, was making cakes. And I didn't think I was going to be making cakes as soon as we are. Uh, but the money is coming in rather good. Allows us to put down the production buildings that we can. But in the, when we, you know, I want to have all the production buildings down that we possibly can. And of course, I want to make No Man's Land into a good-sized city if we can. At least try to anyways. We will see here in the future. So many things I need to upgrade. So many things we need to build. Definitely want to get into a bigger combine here sometime soon. But won't be this year, I don't think. Well, that's not too bad coming on down. Just uh, shy of 7,000. And I don't need to go back there, so I'm going to bring this back to the farm. I'm going to grab the McCormick, go over and grab the baler so we can start making some straw bales. That's the next step for now. You know, I was beginning to wonder, I'm like, geez, Frank should be just about full of grain by now. I, I don't know why I'm recording this video at this point. This... <laughs> Can someone explain to me how we went from doing the second headland on the wheat field to to this? Just I mean you, you see the course laid out for course play. Someone want to help me out with this part. I... Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, let's go ahead. Can, can, can you... Can you... Okay, I realize you're full. So I'm going to let you do what you do. I want to see if it does it again. So when the combine gets like 95% full, which I think it was, it does want to pull over and give you room to bring a trailer in. So I'm wondering if he's going to do the same thing. So I haven't updated course play in about a week and a half. All right, now it says needs to be unloaded. So I'm not sure how I did what it did, but... Uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and unload Frank so he can get on going and uh, continue harvesting the wheat. 
Hopefully. Are you going to harvest while we unload, or are you going to... Are you just going to sit there? I forgot what sitting I have it on. I remember in 19, I, I, I knew how to have it to where course play would continue harvesting while you're unloading. You could do that, or you could have it turned off to where when it's unloading, uh, they're turned off. It looks like uh, he's going to sit here and wait until we're completely unloaded. Or until he's unloaded and we're somewhat loaded. And we should be somewhere right around 17 and a half thousand liters, right? Yep. I'll get out of his way, so hopefully you can not run into another tree anywhere, please. Um... Frank, you've already done this. <sighs> yep. I'll see you in a minute with the baler, and we'll hopefully be doing some baling of some straw. I think Frank is doing okay over there for now. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a message here. I want about another minute or two that he's almost full we'll see in the upper right hand corner where it says course play it'll tell me that the vehicle needs to be unloaded hopefully uh we're gonna come over to this field here the one i was working on earlier since i'll be harvesting this later on i should have no problem avoiding my own bales but the way it's going maybe not it's gonna put this down here and start making some beautiful beautiful straw bales and since we got so many still in storage, I don't think we're going to be keeping any. We're just going to go ahead and sell them all. We don't need that many that we currently got. But I am starting to wonder, though, would the Big Red Barn only be able to take 50,000 liters of oats? Uh, between the wheat and the oats we're going to have, I think I'm going to be pushing my silo to the limit of how much we can actually hold in there, so... Uh, we may actually have to... Oh, I, I, wait, I can make some flour, right? I, oats I can make flour with? Yeah, I should be able to. Uh, or is it just wheat and barley? No, we can make... Okay, yeah, so we can go ahead and bring some on down and make some flour. And then with that, we can go ahead and make some pasta with later on. So, yeah, maybe I'll start to bring the rest of the oats on down and make some flour. And I'll have to turn that off distributing because I want to bring the flour on up to the big red barn to make pasta. Or I could put the flour into bread pit and make more bread. Either way, but I think we're going to go ahead and make pasta just because we've made the bread. Let's go ahead and make some pasta. And yes, I do see that Frank needs to be unloaded. So I was pretty darn close with said a minute or two. Let's teleport on over to the fence, find out where he is. Hopefully he's not lost in the field. I'll turn that off just because. Uh, okay, so he's way on the other side. Not a problem. So it's good that we're over $100,000, which is really, really nice. I'm not really sure I know what to do with the money as of yet. But like I said, I want to make sure... We're all set uh, when winter comes. Just to make sure we'll see what our finances are then. We don't need any more production buildings currently, uh, but new products on the farm would be kind of nice. A new planter, a new seed drill would be good for next season. A bigger combine would be nice as well. Oh, so now you're going to go ahead and harvest while we unload. Did I have you blocked before, maybe? Either way, this is fine. This is all good. And so the one thing I would like to do, but I don't think I've seen or heard about it, is the mod Follow Me, which has been in Farming Simulator as a mod, not in the base game, but as a downloadable mod for ever since like 15 maybe fs15 first came out 
uh, at least that's what I think it is. So basically, I could set the combine on course play and then, you know, put like the fence and this trailer on follow me, and I could do a whole bunch of offsets, and we can constantly unload it while it harvests. And that way, our combine won't be stopping as much. This trailer will hold 48,000 liters, I think it is. But already, uh, this field here, I think, is way bigger than the other three fields combined. So last season, we had three smaller fields that we were calling our chicken field, or chicken fields back then. And we were getting right around 40,000 liters. And here we are, we're already at 30,000 liters. And we got that much left. So <laughs> this is more than enough feed for our chickens. So it looks like we'll be bringing down some wheat and also some oats to be making some flour. And maybe what we'll do is we'll take like the oats. And, well, flour is going to be made into flour. It doesn't really matter. But we'll take some of the flour and bring it up to the Big Red Barn and maybe some other flour. Bring it to Bread Pit and we'll make bread and flour uh, and uh, pasta. You uh, empty, empty in there. Yeah, you're empty, empty in there. All right, you can continue for a while. I hope. Park this back over to here. Yeah, we'll leave about forty thousand liters of wheat in the silo for the chickens. That's more than enough. Speaking of, I need to bring their eggs on down to Bread Pit as well because we're preparing to make cakes. At least I'll have a good set amount of eggs in there. I could sell the eggs, but the eggs are probably going for a terrible price this time of the year. So I'd rather go ahead and put this, those, just those in storage in a bread pit. And then in a couple months, sell the eggs again when the price is going back up. We got a lot of production buildings now. And some days it's going to be, got to bring this to this production building, this to that production building. It's going to be nothing more than transporting goods around to production buildings. Maybe somebody will come up with a mod that, in a production building, we have multiple buildings that take the same product. Maybe somebody will come up with a mod to where you can distribute them, the goods, but then you can distribute them to a certain production building on its own. Yep, this is the field that uh, I had an offset on course play, so that's why we left little lines here and there. But I know one thing, it's going to take a long time before we get to this winter because we got a lot of harvesting to do. But then, of course, we got to prep the fields for next season, which means plowing, picking up stones. Um, some fields need, fer uh, well, they all are going to need fertilizer, but uh, they're going to need lime fertilizer the chicken field will need to be replanted here in October I think it is and yeah I keep getting told about the sugarcane harvest that we'll have going on here in the month of that might be September uh, that's going to take a while to get that harvest done it's okay though I'm ready for it the first time I've actually harvested sugar cane, so should be kind of fun. And the good thing about sugar cane is I can't remember, like I said, it's either going to regrow for two more times or one more time. But since we got crop destruction on, i kind of curious of when we harvested the sugar cane, am I going to leave uh, tracer lines in the field because the harvester is going to crush the sugar cane? Not too sure, but we'll find out. That's the only way to find out is, you know, trial and error. Unless you already know, then uh, leave a comment below. If you harvest sugar cane with crop destruction on, am I going to destroy the crop that I'm going over after we harvest it? Alright, so where can I sell... I think there's a few places I can sell the straw at. Uh, straw is going to be right here. Uh, biomass plant and a farm shop. 
So we'll probably bring it to the biomass heating plant. Because it's closer? Yeah, that's a good reason. Because it's closer. That's where we'll bring it. So yeah, our production cost is going to go up every month because now we're, gonna, we're turning on more and more productions. I think at the end of uh, end of June into, Ju into July, my production cost was uh, just over a thousand so far. But now we turn on a couple more productions, so the price is going to go up. I got a couple on standby, which is like, so what? I'm pretty sure they got a decent amount of fabric to go ahead and start making some more clothing. I'll probably turn the, I'll probably turn so what back on here in about another month or so. And that way when April rolls around, we should have somewhere around, uh, is, uh, I don't remember how many liters of cotton I had there. I think it was 120, so I'm going to end up with like 30,000 liters of clothing. Somewhere around there. And Frank is calling me on the radio telling me that he's full once again. Which is uh, pretty darn good. So we're getting plenty of wheat out the field for the chickens. So the chickens are good. Uh, that field is more than big enough for the chickens. That is for darn sure. I don't have any intention of putting down another chicken pen and just having more eggs. Uh, I mean, I could do that because we got definitely plenty of feed for them. I'd just rather take the wheat on down to the grain mill and just make more flour with it, I guess. Because we got plenty of chickens making plenty of eggs for what we need them for. I'm going to go ahead and leave the McCormick right here. Let's turn off the baler. Yeah, sometimes you don't realize how big a uh, these bigger balers are until, you know, you, you get yourself a tractor. And you go, oh, that's a big tractor. Then you hook up the tractor to this uh, New Holland big baler. And then you realize how big it actually is. <laughs> it's right there on the big side. Uh, let's get over to the fent. There's the fent. And where... Why, why is it always... Is it just me, or is every time you do this kind of a setup for those who course play, why is it that wherever you park your trailer, course play harvester is always on the opposite side of the field? It never like this parks right next to your trailer, like, hey, I need to be unloaded. It's like, oh, I just got to move you on over to here. That's all we need to do. But I guess I couldn't, I shouldn't complain because this, usually what happens to me as well when it needs to be unloaded is that the pipe is facing. Uh, towards the side of the field with a crop in it. So I'm actually thinking we're just going to go ahead and take this load of wheat right here. And we're going to bring this right on down to the grain mill and start making some flour. I think we're going to get maybe like 60,000 liters of wheat off this field. And the thing is about this field, it needed lime. So we're not even getting the best yield that we possibly can get off the field. Uh, we're losing, a, was it 15%? I'm going to my numbers in 19. The 19 numbers I got down, it was 15% for lime. So I'm not sure if it's the same in 22. A lot more numbers to deal with in 22 than there was in 19. But in 19, it was 15% uh, yield. It didn't have lime down, or it was less yield for lime. I'm going to stick with Frank all the way until he gets ready to turn around. Because he's done with the headlands. Hopefully he's all, all squared away, not running into any more trees. Alright, 
you're just about done. You're getting ready to turn around. I don't want to be in your way, so I'm going to take off. There, now that I'm selected on the trailer, I can cover the trailer. <laughs> oh, I've got to love it. I'm just going to blame the whole first half of the episode just being frustrated with uh, my support team on YouTube. <laughs> and that guy. Yeah, I don't want to get back and start that whole thing again. I, I was frustrated. I probably should have waited about 15, 20 minutes. It was one of those things that, you know, I, I was asking them for help, but at the end of that conversation, I think uh, he needed the help more than I did. Let's go on down to the grain mill. We'll drop off these uh, 43,000 liters-ish of wheat and start making some flour. But it'd be kind of good to go on down there to see what our production building is, the way it looks now. Um, yeah, it's not decorated at all, but now we got two more production buildings down here. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how it looks as we head on down through. So I'm getting a few comments. Like I said, I'm recording this on Monday. Uh, it's been late, maybe just a few hours after the other episodes gone live. And yeah, a lot of people are liking the river. A river runs through it. But I need to make these roads just a little bit wider, I think. I mean, as for us alone, one path is pretty darn good. And so our, our little factory area, in, in, maybe we'll just call it the industrial area, is starting to come along a little bit here. But yeah, once we start putting down some more landscaping and, and uh, putting down some more decorations... It'll be all good. Oh, so when you unload it, it automatically opens up the cover. I wonder what it's going to do. All right, let's come into here. And production buildings scroll. Nope, I don't need to scroll too far. Uh, oat flour. Oh, no, we're putting in wheat right now. Yeah, we were harvesting oats, but we're putting in wheat. Uh, let's get that activated. Yep. Uh, no, while we're here, though, I did want to see... Yeah, so the month of June... Oh, sorry, production cost. Oh, you can see production cost was 2000 2200 1950 and 1447 So my production cost is kind of going on up there. Uh, but that's fine. You know, we're just going to make money that way. Yeah, we still owe 50000 on our initial loan of 200000 Can I turn around here? We sure can. We're good. I would like to get the loan paid off soon but i mean the interest rate is not that big of a deal but i just want to get one of the things done money wise and that'd be the loan so uh possibly maybe later on if we can't find anything decent to buy waiting for things to come up for sale oh now's the other question someone said why didn't we buy the belt uh we thought we we're going to buy the belt we're not going to buy the belt until we're selling the silage and that brings up another point when i came over and grabbed the baler uh with the mccormick the grass field is ready to be cut again. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. So it's working on out. So that's why I wanted to empty the silo bunker. Uh, was that last episode or the episode? It might have been last. Yeah, I think it was last episode. Uh, the left side of the bunker. That's why we emptied it on out. Uh, because I needed 10,000 liters for TMR. We had 12,000 liters in there. I'm like, yeah, let's just empty it on out. So the left side is now ready to accept uh, grass, which would be quote-unquote chaff. And the right side is silage. And when that... Uh, when the left side, the left side, I'm going to compact it, but we're not going to cover it. So what we're going to have on the right hand side is silage for TMR, and until we need to, or we start selling it, or want to sell it, I'm not going to compact the left side bunker until like November, if we can do that, and then cover it up, and that way it'll be all fermented in the month of December as silage, and then we can sell it when the price is the highest, and that is when we'll probably buy the belt. Or unless the belt comes up for sale uh, pretty darn soon. Speaking of, I probably should check because I kind of forgot. What is for sale? Uh, okay, so this is a 6 meter wide drill, which is we already have a 6 meter wide drill. Uh, yeah, we did talk about, the, talk about the 9R. I remember talking about that. And this is a tree planter, which, as you saw, we sold wood chips the other day. So planting little 
little trees down. That's not for poplars, is it? Does that do poplars as well? It does. Uh, maybe we'll try that later on, but I really have no desire to do poplars. I did that. I did that in 17, uh, selling wood chips, and to me it just wasn't worth it. Uh, but maybe at some point we will get involved in that. Uh, perfect timing once again, Frank. You're you're right on cue. So I'm gonna let Frank continue this on. Uh, then when he gets done, I'll probably grab the combine myself, get back over, start harvesting some uh, some of those oats, and I'll be bringing those oats. I do believe all the way down to milling it over. And we'll be making some oat flour as well. So we'll have plenty of flour. And like I said, do I want to put that? I think I got that on distribute. So it should distribute. I'm, I'm kind of curious because we got two factories. We got the big red barn and also we got bread pit. Both require flour. So I wonder if it's going to distribute it, distribute that equally. Or is it just going to dump it all into one? Or does it actually give me an option? I just haven't looked. Let me go ahead and get Frank somewhat unloaded here. And we'll have a check on that. All right, he's going to stop there. Uh, yeah, so if I put that on distribute. All right, it, it is on distributing. So it'll be kind of interesting to see. Uh, so bread pit, how much flour do you have? You have zero flour. Uh, okay. And if I go down to, I mean, you should have no flour here either. Uh, flour zero so they're both at zero so we'll have, have to wait and see what happens at the beginning of the next episode is it going to be equal amount of flour in both buildings or is it going to distribute it all to one building have no idea but we'll have to wait and see and wait and see next episode we will uh, hopefully we'll be done with the wheat harvest should be done um, hopefully I can get most of the oat harvest done if not all of it I'll try and uh, I got plenty of bailing to do. I got to get these fields cleaned out up so we can get the T6 in here and start plowing. Uh, and start transforming the fields over. Because like I said, we do got to plant. It's July. And we plant in September. Um, when do we harvest the sunflowers? Okay, we don't harvest the sunflowers until October. So plant, I can't, hmm. I wanted to get a canola in. But if I do, if I do that where the beehives are, I, it looks like I got to stick with sunflowers or wait a, almost a whole year before I can stick canola in there. Because I can't harvest the sunflowers until October-ish or November, depending on when I planted them. And I got to plant in August and September for canola. That kind of, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Minor problems compared to the other problems we had to begin this episode. And hopefully there, <laughs> I can get all these problems ironed out. So next episode is a little bit better. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in no man's land. But until then, have a good one.